Hi, I'm Bob Murray and welcome to the Thousand Island edition of Delaware Valley Outdoors. We've traveled a little bit out of our range here going up to the Thousand Islands, but if you really want to have some great outdoor experience to catch smallmouth, largemouth, pike, and even, this is where the world record muskie came from, you have to try this. So stay tuned, this is going to be a great fishing show. What's the purpose of your trip? Oh, let's uh, take a, we're doing a fishing show. Bob, Smalley, coming up. Nice right. one. Okay. Red rattle Look trap. Out. Watch out. No hooks. Yeah, I don't want any hooks. Okay. Smallmouth right. fishing. Thousand Islands. Red rattle traps. Oh lordy. Hi, I'm Bob Murray, and welcome to the Thousand Island edition of Delaware Valley Outdoors. I'm fishing on the St. Lawrence with not only a good fishing buddy, Dave Moore, but also a fellow teacher. Uh, and Dave has invited me up here to do some smallmouth and uh, pike fishing. And we're just catching a few little fish right now. Hopefully we're gonna catch some bigger ones yeah. today. But uh, the red, red rattle traps, rattle traps seem to be working right now. And uh, we're gonna keep fishing, right Dave? Sure. All right, let's go. Good, yeah. Good better one. fish? Yeah, I think so. A little better, not much. Look at this. Ooh, look at that sucker. That's it. Nice one. All right. That's a little better fish. Yeah. Close to keeper size, maybe. Yeah. Might measure. Yeah. Woo. I don't think some of these fish yeah. have really spawned yet. No. Well, the water's only in the low 60s here. I think I need a plier. Well, yep, sorry. One. a good spot. Should be able to catch 30 or 40 of these today. Yeah, and uh, like we had we had talked last night about it, it's not unusual to catch 30, 40. No, no, 30 no, fish. no. When they're on, you can catch easily that many. A lot of islands here. Obviously, they call it Thousand Islands. What do we have right here that, that's attracting these fish? Because, I mean, we're just catching one after another here. Basically, we're, we're fishing off of about 40 or 50 foot of water, and it's a big rock pile right here, a shoal right in the middle, offshore shoal that uh, probably not too many people know about unless they float through here. And it's holding the fish. You can see there's spawning beds down there. Yeah. And uh, it's holding the fish is a good spot. They're usually always in here. But it's a shoal that comes up to about uh, seven or eight foot off of 50 foot of water. Yeah, we do have 50 feet of water right out here. And this shoal comes right up, and that's what's holding these fish now. Well, I need my pliers again. <laughs> these things are terrible. It's a mixed bag in here. You, you'll catch smallmouth, you'll catch pike off of here, you'll catch your uh, perch and your uh, rock bass. So you usually catch more than the smallies up here. You never know what you're catching. I also caught some walleye down here on occasion, not too often, but there are some walleye in this particular spot. The walleye are really coming back on the river in the last four or five years. Yeah, they've, uh, well this isn't really the prime time for walleye no. here now. This is, we're well, fishing right now, late June, and uh, we've had, the, uh, the spring that we've had kept the water temperature down because the water is in the low 60s, and by this time it should be up a little higher, and the, uh, the time for the, for the, um, Walleye, though, you said was in uh, mid, mid, mid August. Mid August. Mid August through September is when you, the walleyes come in here right, for some reason. You can see with this clear water, you can see down 15, 20 foot, you can see this rock pile right out in front of us here. All right, we're going to try to we get a little bit better light on us. We might be able to see some of this stuff. There, you can see a spawning bed right, right there. But. Uh, the water has really cleared up the last uh, five or six years in here. And uh, 
you really have to, uh, on bright light conditions, you've got to really be able to throw your baits a long distance. Yeah, it's real important to yeah. get them away from the yeah. boat. Yeah. For some reason, they like the bright colors up here in this clear water. They like the oranges, the reds. Uh, they seem to be the ticket up here. Yep. Small I mouth. They like these they like rattle, traps. rattle traps. Yeah, he's tugging pretty good. That's a nice one. Yeah. Got a lot this size up here. A lot in that foot range. Yeah. Yeah, pretty nice one. Lawrence smallmouth. Catch them by the dozens when they're hot. Find a fish. They're a little better fish. Yeah. Smalling. Okay, coming up. They do like those rattle traps. <laughs> they do. Ooh, nice one. Sometimes in this cooler water, they don't tend to jump too much. Yeah. Okay, nice dark one. That's a yeah. better fish. Yeah. Nice He's got that sideways right in his yeah. mouth. Where's the pliers? Yeah. Healthy fish. Now we're catching these fish again off of a, a rocky shoal. And how much water do we have in front of us? Uh, we're about, we're 10 foot. 10 foot. And we're, we're throwing them way up in there. And I'm making really long casts. And we're catching these fish. This is a nice, healthy fish right here. Especially in this clear water, you got to be able to throw your lure a long way out. Yeah, so that's what's really important fish. to get that that bait way out there. I did that. I, that was a far fish on another one there. They're right in here, they're in coming here. up. I'm just falling them. Maybe not quite as good, but there we go. Small mouth. They do like these bright color rattle traps. Yeah, they do. Reds, oranges, for some reason, it's clear water. All right, here you go. Got them off the weed. Yeah, how about that? You know, these are strong fish. Yeah, yeah they are. Okay, I'll tell you, this you isn't know, a very big fish, but man. It's a, they are very strong fish. I don't know if it's because the water temperature is so cold that they're more aggressive, but. I tell you, sometimes you can't tell by the hit. No. It'll be a, you, it'll pull the rod right out of your hand, and it's it's a small fish. They really wrap it. It's yeah, unbelievable. That, that fish is what maybe, maybe ten inches long. Yeah, it's a four-year-old fish, probably. Yeah, about a four-year-old fish, because fish don't grow very uh, fast up here in the cold water. And uh, but boy, they <laughs> are a strong hit hitting fish. Now one of the things that we're throwing right now is a rattle trap, and I'm throwing it on a crankbait rod and a soft rod so that the rod doesn't flex as strongly, I mean it bends a lot and it really gets a good hook set on there and I'm using the 10 pound test which is probably the best you could do all yeah. around up here because you never know <clears throat> right now we're fishing some weeds here uh, big pike come along yeah. so you need something to get the fish out of the weeds and that kind of stuff now on my spinning rod that I was using with the, the jig um, I go down to four pound test mm -hmm. I like that because it drops the jig down and we get we're gonna go on to some deeper shoals here uh, I'm gonna throw some jigs uh, and I like to have it drop down one thing with that rod I noticed boy you can really throw that thing out there yeah, a long way. Gonna... But that seven that yeah. seven foot that makes a big difference yeah. in this clear water you gotta get it out of the sight. The longer the cast, the better off you are. Yeah, okay. That's nice. Up. Yeah. yeah he's, but they are, I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah. these are an aggressive. Well, you're, these uh, rattle traps, you know, they're basically your, they're reactive type bait, and, and they, when they want them, they take them. That's nice fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice, healthy fish. On the back side of this island. Yeah. They're out of the current. More in the weeds. We've been trying to get them. We're trying to look for some current because the smallmouth seem to like 
up here like the like the current and we just moved to the back side of this island here and I made a real long cast and uh, that fish was way up out way out there definitely an advantage yeah watch those hooks Ooh. Half ounce rattle traps. Seem to be the ticket. With long cast. Yeah, man. Steve's Service Center, located at Street Road and 2nd Street Pike in Southampton. Since 1983, Steve's staff of factory trained technicians have used the latest computerized testing equipment for an accurate diagnosis of your engine's problems the first time. Steve's Service Center specializes in foreign cars and anti-lock brake systems. Steve's is a AAA approved auto repair center and winner of the fourth annual Better Business Award for excellence in service. Here's what some satisfied customers have to say about Steve's. At TCS Heating and Air Conditioning, we depend on our vehicles and we depend on Steve to service them right. We keep coming back to Steve's Service Center because they're honest, they give you a lot of personal attention, and they fix your car right the first time. So bring your auto to Steve's Service Center because you deserve the best. Jig fishing, it's an art in itself. A lot of people are confused and almost intimidated sometimes about jig fishing. And I just wanna go through some things with you. Right now I'm just using a plain quarter ounce jig with a twister tail. You can use 3 8 ounce, you can use eighth ounce, it all depends on the current and the fishing conditions. But for demonstration purposes, tonight we're just gonna use a quarter ounce jig. I'm using it on a light six foot rod, medium action, okay? And I like a Tennessee handle type reel here, rod here, and just a light reel. Four pound test, I'm not using heavy line because I want my jig to fall quickly. The thicker the line, the longer your jig is going to take to fall. And I want my jig on the bottom as quickly as possible. Now, when you cast it out, one of the most important things about jig fishing is you must stay in contact with the lure at all times. And felt the hit. Again, it was on a tight line. You got to make sure that you keep the line tight. Now that fish definitely hit on the fall, okay? And one thing I want to show you here right now is that nine times out of 10, when you catch a fish on a jig, it comes out of the top of his mouth. Nine times out of 10. That's why a lot of times you'll catch pike on a jig like this. You say, well, how can you catch a pike? The teeth will cut this line. A lot of times you set that hook comes right up here and it hooks in the fish's mouth like that. So a lot of times you'll see that your fish is hooked definitely at the top of the mouth. Okay? Remember, keep your line tight. Established in 1935, Dillon Haney is a full service insurance agency. Currently, Dillon Haney serves the insurance needs of over 3,000 families and over 500 businesses in the tri-state area. Our offices include a state-of-the-art computer system for instant rate comparisons with the country's finest insurance companies. Our objective is to form a partnership between you and our agency, providing you with the coverage and claim service that you deserve. At Dillon Haney, we don't work for the insurance company. We work for you. New Hope Fishing and Tackle, located at 5 Stockton Avenue in the heart of New Hope, Pennsylvania, just minutes from the Delaware River, offers anglers a unique opportunity to take a step back in time with personal, courteous service and expert advice on local fishing. Come to New Hope Fishing and Tackle for all your bait, tackle, and outdoor clothing needs. New Hope Fishing and Tackle features a full line of Versatex rods and clothing. Don't forget to ask us about our guided fishing tours and our weekly fly fishing classes. Powercom and Comcast Metrophone have teamed up to offer the outdoorsman security on the water and in the field. Call Powercom for your Motorola portable cellular phone, your free leather case, adapter, and your free minutes every month. Pay only $39.99 and receive your full security package. As a bonus, receive free calls to all AAA and traffic updates. 
For current cell phone users, mention this ad and receive 30% off all accessories. Give us a call at 215-230-9643. Activation on personal value or higher value plans. Comcast Metro Ground credit approval required. Today's equipment is sponsored by Bucks County Outfitters at Bucks County Outfitters Outfit You. Man, that's a mile out there. <laughs> that's what look. makes it fun. Yeah. And catch it's, them way out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's no fun when it gets short hit at the boat. No, right? it's when better. When they get you out there 25 yards. That's right. Oh, we'll follow. Do you see him? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, these nice fish, scrappy fish. These fish are aggressive. Yeah. yeah. That's They're hitting this trap, though. Yeah. I wouldn't steer you wrong. I told you that it traps for the tart. I <laughs> take it there. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. I like those reds. Traps or spots, it doesn't much matter. Same type of lure. It's probably a four year old fish, maybe. But boy, they hit it hard. Boy, they do. And you know, you know, you really don't know. It could it could have been this as easily an eighteen incher. Yeah. But it's right, right on right on that edge. They are that toss out there. Small one. Ooh, jumper. Man, I don't get too many of them. Yeah, good healthy fish. Yep, right under that boat dock there. Different structure. I get this this slicker off there. Boy, he has himself lassoed. Okay. About a four-year-old fish. Keep, I think. Yeah. yeah he's tugging. Be good good one. one. Yeah, he's a nice one. Yeah. I think I'll have to go Ooh, to it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two pounder there anyway, Bob. Yeah. yeah. That's a little better. Nice fish. An old trap. I knew there had to be one on this rock pile. Yep. Nice fish. Yes, sir. He was a little deeper water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Hanging on that rock pile. Yeah. There's nice, better fish. Yeah, we're in, you know, deep water and that rock's only like two foot deep out, uh, out there. Yeah, it came right, right off the top yeah. of that. Again, it was a long cast. Yeah, boy. I'll say. Yeah, nice little friendly fish here. He hit. Yeah. That's one neat thing of catching them way out. Yeah. Have the fun of bringing them in. Nice fish. Yeah, good, healthy, fish. scrappy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Boy, he's they healthy. They are strong yeah. fish. I am just amazed. Well, you're up here in this current, cold water. They're aggressive. At the strength of these fish. Right on that rock pile. I'll tell you what, even if it's not a big fish, the fight on that fish is just incredible. Chunky. Yeah, healthy fish. Come on, sweetheart. I think there should be a few more up there. There might be a few more. Boy, that fish hit hard. Yeah. Dear Lord, that fish hit hard. That's sometimes what we do up here is what we call bottle hop. They used to be green, green bottles. Now they went to these, I guess, Coast Guard, Reg International. Uh -huh. And we just go from one to the next. One shoulder to the next. Yeah, shoulder. just bottle hop, you know. There must be 20 of these out here in this general area. Let's go from one to another, drift by it. And one thing I want to point out to everybody up here, Dave's been up here for, what, 20 years, mm -hmm. and he understands what's going on. But if you come up here for the first time, or any time, really, get yourself maps of the area. Because we are in 20, 20 feet of water, and not uh, 20 feet from us, there's maybe three feet of water. And if you don't see that, or you don't watch those markings, and sometimes not everything's marked up here, no. you can really get yourself into some, some trouble. So make sure that when you come up here, get yourself the map for the area. It gives you the depths, it gives you all the, um, the channels, mm -hmm. and, and follow the channel markers. It doesn't, it all looks flat on the top, but boy, can it change on the bottom. Real quick. Yeah, real quick. So make sure 
that you get yourself a good map and study it and you you won't be you won't be sorry losing a lower end or, or getting stuck out here can be a real uh, real hazard Dave over to the right of us there we have the town of what is it Gananaqua mm -hmm. it's in Canada and you had mentioned before that it's really made a I don't know if a comeback or a renaissance. Yeah. What's the story with the, with Gananaqua? Well, it's pretty much a tourist town. They've really put in a nice marina the last couple of years. Uh, the marina area they've really fixed up and it's really attractive. And uh, I guess they're trying to promote more tourism. Later in August they have what they call the Festival of the Islands for about nine or ten days. Fireworks and they have bands and everything to bring people back and uh, improve their tourism. But tourism is big up here. and. Uh, for about two, three months up here. A lot of people come to visit the islands. And they've done a nice job with, I know you said that the waterfront's been all rehabbed and the shops and mm -hmm. so it's a good place, I mean, to, to bring the family up. It's right. just not a bunch of guys and stuff like that. It's a good place to, uh, to bring your family. And they have a nice downtown area, a lot of shops, a lot of antique shops, a lot of uh, uh, waterfowl, uh, things like that with uh, ducks, decoys and things like that. A lot of, uh, and a lot of uh, gift shops, so a lot of things downtown. So a, lot of, a lot of good restaurants too. So if you're up here, you can bring the family, they can go shopping, and you can go fishing. So don't forget that. All right, now where's this big fish at you've been promising? <laughs> the Tackle Box is sponsored by Durstein Lures. Locally made, locally tested. All right, Dave, we're doing a little bit of the Tackle Box section right now picked out some lures here that you probably would recommend for fishing up here. Mm -hmm. Use them across in a lot of different waters, but these, the, the baits, that seem to work the best. Now I know you can use a, a lot of different baits up here. Uh, spoons still work well for, for the, the bass and the, uh, the pike and that kind of stuff, but we're basically just fishing for, for bass right now. And I want to recommend that these are the lures that we're going to talk about. Okay, the first lure that we, we caught a lot of fish mm -hmm. on was the, the rattle trap or a spot. Now, what what do you recommend up here for this? What well, sizes? I like I like the half ounce. I like the orange and red colors. Uh, you can uh, if you're fishing shallow water use the quarter ounce, but I like the half ounce. They seem to be the ticket up here. For yeah, this. we were using the, the smaller one, and then you used the, you were using the bigger one. And the other the other color, it's always a popular color, is the fire tiger. Yep. Uh, now, you were using the fire tiger also in like a stick bait too. Mm -hmm. We were also using yeah. stick baits. The reason we didn't uh, really catch too many fish on stick baits is the water's a little cold here. It's yeah. still June and uh, it's 60 some degrees. Yeah. Low 60s. Yeah. One of my favorite types of bait that we were fishing today is a jig. I don't think you could miss no. coming up here fishing jigs. Now, I like to fish the, the, a quarter ounce jig with a pearl twister tail. I think, generally speaking, I know a lot of people have listened to me before, this is a great bait right here. It just simulates a, a minnow, mm -hmm. and it works really well. Uh, I, I like it, and we, we caught fish on it yeah. last night, we caught fish today on it, and it's just a great bait. One of the other tails that I, I like to, to use are the chartreuse, it's always a good yeah. color, uh, like a green here, mm -hmm. and Again, just the pearl that, that I like. But if you had three colors to choose, I think that's probably uh, one of the best the best choices that you would have. And again, use the jigs on the drop-offs, on the, the shoals that we have, it pull off in 15, 20 feet of water. One thing that I, I want to talk about, just let's talk a little bit about it, the clarity of the water. I've been up here coming up for 20 years, you've been coming up 20 years, and it keeps getting clearer and clearer. Mm -hmm. And it's because of zebra mussels. The zebra mussels. Tell us about this a little bit about the zebra mussels. Well, in the last three or four years, they came in from the lake, and they've been cleaning up the water. And you can see down 15, 20 feet easily. And they uh, seem to cling on to everything. There's been some concern about them uh, hurting the spawning beds, especially for the smallmouth. Uh, we haven't seen that at the, the last couple of years, however. But there is some concern about that. And, but, and they've they've cleaned up the water, so. Light line is essential. Yes. Long casts are essential. Most definitely. Okay. And because uh, of the clarity of the water. Mm -hmm. One other thing I want to bring up, and <laughs> that's my favorite too, is the spinnerbait. 
put a lot of fish on this. I guess the basic color up here, white. Yeah, white okay. Real good. I like the willow leaf type of blades. This has got a little blue fleck in it, if you can see. I think that it really has a nice thing. This is an excellent bait for pike. Yeah. Uh, it's an yeah. excellent bait for pike. You want to come up here and do some pike fishing over top of the weed beds. Just take yourself a big white spinner bait. This is a fairly big one. And as a matter of fact, you get a big one if you'd like. And throw that long cast and you, you should do good. Well, Dave, that's a little bit of the tackle box. Yeah. Let's go fish. Yeah, uh, let's have fun. Okay. The tackle box is sponsored by Durstein Lures. Locally made, locally tested. Smallmouth. Yeah, small I guess I like the weeds here. Yeah, they do. Woo! These are strong fish. Yeah, feisty. I'm watching my fingers. All right. Smallmouth, St. Lawrence. Bass fishing. Excellent. Dave, I want to thank you. We had a good time. My pleasure. You want to come up and have just a fantastic time catching fish. Come up to the Thousand Islands area. I guarantee you'll have a wonderful vacation. This is Bob Murray, and I'll see you again on Delaware Valley Outdoors. Yeah, where's my pliers at here? All right. All right, let's Hi, this is Bob Murray. Let's talk fishing. I'll be Dan Taylor's guest on Sportsline. Here's your chance to call in live and ask me all your fishing questions. at Sportsline, Tuesday, September 17th at 8 p.m. on SCT 9.